before I do the walls, I need to, we have the new electrical outlet, ran some 12-2 uh, to that, drill a few holes, route it up through the wall, on down through here, 3 8 clamps, comes down into the box and to this breaker right here. What we're doing now, we have everything for the drain on the shower. Right now I'm cutting the, I'm cutting this board right here for the inner wall. And then we're going to cut the hole for the drain. Uh, we have all the drain pieces. I'll go over that in a little while. Roll on membrane, uh, waterproof and everything. Waterproof this, that, and then this side over here um, before we put the actual shower walls on. I have this one board cut now. So we're going to get the, uh, get this board in, test fit it. Um, for the top where it curves, I created a template and uh, this was really close. So uh, this fit up in there with a little bit of, you know, margins. Um, I went ahead and cut that out. We have a room. Oh, well, almost. We still got that wall over there, but <laughs> um, yeah. So we got these two up. I'm going to go through and uh, knock these ends of the screws off because I didn't have any sort of screws. But yeah, the shower pan, the shower walls are in. Got a pretty nice contour up there. Uh, got a little bit there, but I'm going to silicone all that in after I do the um, the membrane. I know paint doesn't stick to silicone, so I'm not going to take the chance. I'm just going to membrane everything and then do silicone. I need to drill the holes. I can get the uh, faucet going here and then paint everything for the membrane. I'm going to cut that hole out and get everything painting so it can dry uh, overnight. I did leave a gap on the bottom. That's so I can still get the shower pan out. So if something happens and I need to replace the shower pan, I don't have to take the walls out. I have to take the skirting down. Um, I have the corrugated, I was gonna do the corrugated metal, but I have the corrugated plastic because it was a lot lighter. Should work out pretty nice. We're gonna find out. We're gonna get the faucet and the lines ran so that I can get this wall done. This is the shower drain I got. It's a four and a quarter shower drain. Um, it takes a two inch schedule 40 um pipe so i got a schedule 40 two inch little adapter here and then i took a three quarter it goes to a one inch so i took a one inch to three quarter elbow and then i found this the three quarter female uh, outlet for the drain that right there is the shower drain so this adapter fits right into this collar because this tightens down on this rubber so it accepts this drain and uh, so it goes in there and then you tighten this down right here and it uh, seals all that in there. Uh, it's just like the sink drains, but kind of homemade. Um, but I got it all glued up. It's been sitting for a while, so it should be good to go. And this is the membrane that I got. The Aqua Defense Maple Lastic. Maple Lastic. Well, guys, I thought I was screwed when I went to put the shower drain in. But it looks like I'm going to be good. See, I cut the hole. The frame rail's right here. So that was really bad. I had to make sure that it would fit this way so that the drain would actually clear this frame rail. It does, it fits perfect. Putting this drain together, and uh, it comes with you know the drain body, a couple gaskets. Um, but what you wanna do is get some of this plumber's putty. Uh, it says to use silicone too, you can. And just put a nice little roll of it around there before you put the drain in. All right, we got the drain all tightened. Got the drain all tightened. I used a strap wrench to tighten the back of that. Uh, if you don't have a great big channel lock, this works really well and really cheap. And as you can see, it did a nice smash on the putty there. So now we can just take our finger and get all this extra off. And this will, uh, this will dry underneath there. Form a good seal, I'm sure. All right, so that part's done. Looks good. The drain is in the shower pan. We got the hole. I oblong the hole just a little bit to uh, allow for the nut. The nut does sit up on here and it sits up against the frame rail so it fits down in there just perfect. All right, so time to take this down. I uh, just mocked that up just for fun and we're going to take that down and then we're going to membrane all this. Later. All right, guys, check this out. Yeah. We got it. Hell yeah! Got some uh, different colors right now because I have just put some uh, extra little spots. I went back and touched up some spots. Uh, we came way over the line for the shower, so that should be plenty good. And it looks good. So, gotta wait for it to dry. And then we'll put the shower pan back in. Okay, we got the shower pan in, the drain in. Uh, everything's snugged up. Uh, we just got 
drilled a few holes and mounted the shower. So we, I don't know if you can see the screws. Um, got the screws in for the shower. It says to mount above this line. So if you, whatever shower pan you buy, watch the uh, line on the top. That's where you mount it to. So that thing is secure and it's not going anywhere. We got all the membrane done. I went back for extra security and did a bunch of silicone again in the corners. Um, yeah, so it came out pretty good along the roof here, along the ceiling. I kind of just sealed this up a little bit uh, so water didn't kind of dump back down in there. I'm gonna go back with some caulking around the edges here and kind of just kind of lay some insurance there and then we can put the walls up in the shower. It's coming out really nice. Really, really nice. Stay tuned. Hey guys, what's up? Look, I finished this wall. We got all the holes drilled for the pipe. I just mocked up the faucet. Uh, so I'm not doing this wall yet, but I did go ahead and finish off this wall while all the silicone was drying in the, uh, in the shower. Again, I just did a pattern. Um, I got a solid one, a long one, short one, and then flipped that and then did a solid one again. So then I just did that all the way up the wall. It's really starting to flow in here. Man, it's coming out really nice. Here's the shower again. All the aqua barrier has dried and now it's green. It's a dark green. So it starts out teal and then it gets green as it dries. It says you can recoat in like 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes, and then uh, it's a 24 hour flood test. I'm very excited to get the uh, walls up in the shower. Um, I'm just waiting on all that. I'm gonna let the silicone sit all night and put the walls up tomorrow. I put the faucet there on purpose. One, because it, you know, it would make the lines go out, but the main reason was that was the best place I could find to where it didn't hit my elbows when I was, you know, down in the shower here. I think it'll be a good spot for it. I'm pretty excited to try it out. And then of course, for the campers, you have the thing that just mounts up here for the head. So it'll have the uh, cord right here and then going to the shower head. So what I'm gonna do is fill the rest of it, um, stationary wall. I need to put some uh, studs in here for my TV mount, but otherwise, um, you know, the blue is going to go up and this right here, if I ever need to get to the pipes, simply pulls out. So there you go. You can get to the pipes. There's a two by three here. It rests on that shelf right there. I'm going to go ahead and staple this in so it'll be part of the wall. But if I, in the instance that I ever need to get back in there, I don't have to take the whole wall down. Uh, everything came out really nice. Uh, and this wall, this wall came out really good. So excited to keep going and uh, I've got a mess and a half here. I don't know what else to say, so I'm signing up for this one.